We're on, on the go with Joe, and he is learning all about a fun way to help some of our local veterans. Joe's in Vancouver, where a special Dragon Boat fundraiser will take place this weekend. He joins us live to tell us about Paddle for Life. Good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, it's a beautiful morning out here on uh, Vancouver Lake. We're back with the members of the Catch-22 Dragon Boat team getting ready for Paddle for Life, which is this Saturday. It's a big Dragon Boat racing event. Once again, Kelly, the... Uh, the organization that you're raising money for is called what again? Clark County Veterans Assistance Center. Okay, so they do a great job helping uh, many of our local veterans. Now, this is a, a race of all different teams throughout the Northwest. You have a battle of the branches where the Army, the Air Force, the Navy, the Coast Guard, the Marines, they're each going to have a team, so that's going to be exciting to see. It's You were telling me it's a 250-meter course, mm -hmm. right? So what we're seeing right here, it's at the end of these little red buoy things, right? right. So when we're, we were practicing this earlier, there's a whole kind of cadence that you do, right? You kind of start and then you really amp it up a little bit, and then amp it up a little bit, and then you kind of hit your stride. Is that is that kind of accurate? Pretty accurate. And sure. you're following the directions of these two folks. Remind Absolutely. me the, the titles of these That's two the people. That's the collar in the front okay. and the helm in the back. And so what is what are their respective jobs? Well, the helm is in control of the boat mm -hmm. and the safety of the boat at all times. Gotcha. Uh, she also lines us up, gives the start call, and then once that's done, then the caller takes over, and that's where she starts coming in to maintain your timing, kind of like marching in the military. There you go, just as if I would know what that's like. <laughs> but yes, I, I get the uh, analogy. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to do a 250-meter race, okay? We're going to yep. do it as quickly as possible, so I'm going to let our... Uh, our sergeants, uh, you know, take charge here, and uh, we'll, we'll, you know, get, we'll get ready. ready to go. All right. Get ready, Tranny. We have alignment. Paddlers, prepare to start. Attention, please. Go. One, two, All right. three, four, five, six, and up. Two, Woo. three, four. Oh boy, five, I'm splashing. Six, seven, up. Oh my. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, and reach with power. Now, Oh, whoa. whoa, my goodness. Stay in there. Are we there yet? Get <laughs> Power, seven, uh, now. One, uh, two, uh, three, three, four, four five, five, and reach. Oh, wow. I'm getting wet. <laughs> Which is always great for broadcast equipment. Uh, guys. Well, it is a water sport. Four, yeah. One, uh, two, three, four. This is five. the longest 250 meters of my life. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you got it. Well, you'd think so. gosh <laughs> guys you know the term dead weight is thrown out or thrown around a lot i think i lived up to that these these folks did a great job carrying me across the lake here thank you all so much you appreciate it once again paddle for life this saturday here at vancouver lake show up support your local vets and let these people do all the work let's send it back to you that's Woo. amazing to watch. And they're so in I sync. Know. I mean, except for Joe. <laughs> and, but, you know, he's in great shape. So it well, just goes to show you it's a real finesse yeah, to be able to sure. do that well, and right? it makes me feel better after I had a pretty big fail when I tried to do <laughs> dragon boating. So thank you, Joe. Thank you for uh, doing wow. it. Yeah.